Hello and welcome to Making IT Simple. In the previous video on deadlock we saw what is deadlock. How it occurs. And what are its necessary conditions. Watch that video if you haven't watched already. Now we know that deadlock is a problem. And it needs to be handled. So today in this video we will see various approaches for deadlock handling. Using any of the approach we can manage the deadlock situation. Without wasting any time let's start the video after this short intro. So following our four approaches for deadlock handling. First approach is prevention. Second one is avoidance. Third approach is detection and recovery. And the fourth and last one is ignorance. I will explain the basic idea of all four approaches using real life example. We will see the detailed explanation and algorithms used in upcoming videos. So let's see each approach one by one. So let us begin with prevention. Let's first see a real life example. Let's say you have a bike that runs on petrol. So if there is no petrol, bike won't start. So for this problem what will be the prevention approach? You will always keep the petrol tank full. If the petrol tank is full every time you go for ride, you will never run out of petrol. And you will prevent the problem. We all say that prevention is better than cure. So it's better to take preventive measures long before problem occurs. So how the approach is implemented in operating system? We know that these are the four necessary conditions for deadlock to occur. Prevention approach is to remove any one or all four conditions by writing a code for it. We know that if and only if all four conditions are true, then deadlock occurs. So if we remove the possibility of any one condition, then we can prevent the deadlock. This is the prevention approach. Second approach is avoidance. In this approach you just try to avoid the situation at the last moment. For example, prevention approach is like, you study the whole year and cover whole syllabus and give exams. While avoidance approach is you study just the day or week before exam and only cover the important points, and give the exam. Let us consider previous example of bike, you do not maintain full petrol tank, but just fill the petrol when petrol level goes below, warning level or reserve, avoiding the problem at final moment. This will be avoidance approach. In operating system this approach is used as follows. When any process or program is requesting for the resource, during runtime only, it is checked whether the resource is allocated to another process. Or it is checked if we allocate the resource will there be a deadlock situation. If there is no problem then the resource is allocated. So at the runtime that is at last moment the deadlock situation is avoided, if this approach is used. Third approach is detection and recovery. Let's understand with previous example. In this approach we wait until the problem occurs, and then try to solve it. That means if you are riding a bike, you will wait until the petrol tank gets completely empty, and bike stops. When there is no petrol left in bike and it won't start, then you fill petrol in it. This is how we solve it by detection and recovery, once we detect the problem, after that we implement the recovery. In operating system when we use this approach, we wait until deadlock occurs. Once it occurs, it gets detected, and whatever the recovery process is present, it is initiated. And the deadlock is removed from the system. Fourth and last is ignorance. It basically means completely ignore the problem. Again we will take the bike example. Let's say while riding bike fuel that is petrol gets over. Bike stops. Ignorance approach here means you just leave the bike there, and take a cab or taxi or any other transportation to reach destination. Ignoring the problem is idea behind this approach. In this approach the deadlock is ignored, like it is not considered as a problem. You may think that this is a bad approach, but Windows and Unix systems use this approach. Are you wondering why? Deadlock is very rare situation. 
it is highly unlikely to happen. So ignorance is considered better approach. Another thing is that in previous three approaches we need to write the functionality or code to handle the deadlock. It takes time and cost and also increases complexity and reduces speed. So the ignorance approach is considered better and used in systems like Windows and Unix. So we saw a basic idea about all four approaches of deadlock handling. We will see each one in detail in upcoming videos. Comment down below if you want a video on a particular topic related to operating system. Also if you have doubts queries or suggestions feel free to comment. If you find the video helpful like the video and share it with your friends who need to clear the concept. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for new video updates. See you in the next video.